Hey, I'm Justin Grubb, and right now I've got my hard hat on and my safety vest because we're past the construction fences and standing outside the renovation of the aquarium. And with me is Rick Pay of the Director of Facilities and Planning. So Rick, can you tell us a little bit about the progress of the aquarium? This building was built in 1939. It first opened to the public in that year. And uh, since then, it has gone through a lot of uh, trials and tribulations. And uh, over the time, salt water kind of made its uh, made its way into the building, caused a lot of damage, and uh, we decided to renovate it. The aquarium renovations consist of uh, basically an entire remodel of the entire interior of the building. Um, the life support systems, plumbing, mechanical systems, uh, new exhibit tanks uh, are all part of the uh, reconstruction of the aquarium. The exterior of the building is going to be basically remain intact. We are renovating it, we're repra replacing a lot of the masonry, uh, bad masonry in the building, uh, parapet caps and things like that, but when the, when the public comes back to see the renovated aquarium, they really won't note a big difference to the uh, exterior of the building, other than the fact that the entrance will be relocated from its current look or its old location to the east side of the building, which historically was the original entrance to the aquarium. Currently, work inside the, uh, the building consists of uh, all the structural supports necessary to re-support the entire roof system. The, the roof system was uh, remained in place during the entire demolition of the building. So all, there's a bunch of new structural steel that had to go in place, and the, the building was actually supported through scaffolding. That scaffolding has to come out for us to do um, more renovations, life support piping, and uh, building some of the other tanks. So once we get that scaffolding out, we can start work and finishing all, most of the, all the concrete tanks. That frees up the basement and allows us to start life support piping, which is critical to, to finishing the project right now. Since construction started, one of the main functions was trying to get the, the, uh, the tanks, the concrete tanks, uh, completed. Right now, the uh, Pacific Coral Reef Tank, the Amazon River Tank, and the Shark Ray Turtle Tank are completed as far as the uh, concrete is concerned. And uh, soon, life support piping to those tanks will begin. The flow of the building for visitors has changed. Um, when you enter the building from the east side of the, the structure, you'll come into the lobby, which will house the uh, Shark Ray Turtle Tank, which is the second largest exhibit in the aquarium. Uh, next, you'll go to the, uh, the Amazon River Tank. You'll go up a ramp. You'll go into the touch tank area. There's going to be two touch tanks. Uh, then you'll come up, uh, upon the uh, Pacific Reef Tank, which is the largest tank in the uh, aquarium at 90,000 gallons. And then from there, you'll, you'll traverse around the uh, Pacific Coral Reef Tank, and you'll come up to the uh, West Gallery, we call it. And there you'll have live coral exhibits, uh, octopus exhibits, uh, some freshwater exhibits. And um, once you're through that West Gallery, you'll, you'll go through another hallway, and you'll uh, land in the uh, new penguin exhibit. All right, well, thank you so much for showing us the aquarium. You're it welcome. looks like things are going great here, and I'm super excited about the aquarium and when it's opening. So remember, it's opening up in the first half of 2015. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you at the Toledo Zoo.